Thank you. That was a tune that, to be quite honest with you, I don't know the name of. <laughs> but it was a, a tune that is written by the uh, 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 Beninese uh, vocalist named Angelique Kijo. And I think the name of the tune is Coletta. It's on this tape. I, I illegally copied a tape off of a CD and I forgot to write the names of the songs down. So we'd like to play for you now uh, what, what in, in my opinion is one of uh, many of, uh, of course, Boogsy's great arrangements. Uh, this one in particular is an arrangement that was transcribed by Linda Papademus up here in the corner on the quads, and it's an arrangement of the great David Rudder tune, The Hammer, which was, I think, about 1987, 88, Trinidad and Calypso. It's a great pan tune uh, that was written about the passing of the, the great Rudolph Charles, a pan tuner, and band leader uh, of the Desperado Steel Band. And uh, this tune was recorded on the Mango Records CD of the Arboy Steel Orchestra from Tobago. And the Arboys have a very uh, great connection with the San Francisco Bay Area. At times there's been a full, uh, about a 40-piece version of the Arboys that's been around. And uh, they come up every year and work during the summer. And usually, and a lot of them have stayed around and be, really been part, integral part of the pan scene. And, and also a great reference for this band and inspiration for this band. I think we can honestly say that we own a lot of Arboys CDs. They have two out on Mango Records. And they're some of the best recorded CDs of steel bands that have, have been done to date. The reason being is Andy Norell produced them. And uh, this tune we dedicate to the Arboys and for their inspiration, it's called The Hammer, uh, arranged by Len Boogsy Sharp. I'm sure you've all heard of by now.
Okay, now, the extras from the Union Hall are here. <laughs> Actually, I should say, <clears throat> as seen on Channel 2 television. <laughs> Just get a few more pans out on stage here. This is now officially the mighty Chabot Panhandler Steel Band. Before we go on, I'd like to have them go down the line and introduce themselves and tell you a little bit about where they come from and their pet peeves and turn ons, turn offs. We're going to do another Len Bugsy Sharp tune. And uh, this tune is called Sunset. <laughs> hey, not, knock it off, or I am going to have them each tell a little bit about themselves. So, so. I got all night. I, 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 I thought the hall paid for till you know, 12 or 1.
once again, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you Mr. Len Bugsy Sharp. Thank you.
I don't, know, I don't know what got into these guys, but they're kind of playing inspired all of a sudden. You know? We are uh, at the end of tonight's presentation. Oh, okay, we're not. We are, uh, that, that tune, by the way, was a, a Len Bugsy Sharp tune that he wrote for the R Boys. It's on, uh, yeah. Sarah, yes, thank you. I do know the name of this song. Yes, I did know the name. I was trying to think of the name of the CD it's on, but do yourselves a great favor. Here's two great favors. Pam Progress, thank you. Do you have the actual catalog number? Can you shout that out to me? <laughs> <laughs> go out and buy yourself two R Boys CDs. Go out and buy Ray Holman's tribute, steel band tribute to Ray Holman. Go out and buy um, Hootie and the Blue... No. Uh, <laughs> Go out and buy, we, uh, no, but yeah, <laughs> they've all got that one. Go out and buy the one I want, so Andy Norell's got a great new album out too, and also with the Caribbean Jazz Project. And come out to the San Francisco Carnival Parade. I don't see much advertising about that, but it's happening this Sunday. And we have two, I'm very, very proud to say, I love Carnival, and it's uh, jump up time, and we have two bands that are in the Carnival. Uh, the band that played the Hammer is going to be on one float, jumping up with the Mask Revelers from Richmond. And also the band called the Mission Chabot Rebels, co-sponsored by the Mission Precinct Police Department and the UCSF Transplant Unit. Am I saying that right? Yes. No, they haven't had trans. The band actually hasn't had transplants. But it's really going to be cool. And come out and see us. It's a 20 start, parade starts at 24th and Mission on 10 o'clock Sunday morning. And I've got somebody standing next to me that wants to say, oh, thank you. Club Ibex, San Jose, tomorrow night, Boogsy Sharp, Ray Holman, Jim Munzenreiter. No, uh, Triple Bill, no. Um, but they have a real nice bar there. Did I mention that? <laughs> and uh, how about a hand for this great band that stands behind me? Thank you. My name is Linda Papademus, and I've been hanging around with this band for about two years now, although you may never have seen me because I'm generally behind some pans that are about as tall as I am. Um, I have never felt the need to say anything before, but I am here tonight to sing the praises of Jim Munson Ryder, without whom none of this would be happening right now. A mutual friend of ours calls Jim the hardest working man in show business. And I want to tell you that this is true, although you may have figured this out for yourself by now. In addition to playing, teaching this class, getting 50 people to play together, and getting a bunch of hackers ready to play with the likes of Len Bugsy Sharp and Ray Holman, pulling an event together like this requires an incredible amount of work, which I can't even begin to describe to you, so I won't. However, <laughs> we have basically an award for, for a band leader with curiously strong ambition, <laughs> for a band leader who makes other band leaders feel inadequate. <laughs> we have the first annual Altoids Ambition Award <laughs> for achievement in the area of steel band and the appreciation and affection of the people that he leads, Mr. Jim Munson Ryder. Thank you. Party's at my house later. <laughs> or I'll drop an Altoids. If you want to know about the Altoids, come to band, and you're all welcome to come and join our summer program. It starts June 4th, and we're meeting on Tuesdays from uh, 
man, this is a lot of Altoids. <laughs> I'll just set them here. No. We, uh, we're going to have a summer procession. We're actually going to have another concert in August, although I really don't care to think about what it's going to be and when it's going to be at this point in time. But um, again, thanks to this band, thanks to Andy Norell, to Ray Holman, and a uh, very special thanks to Lynn Bugsy Sharp. Uh, what can we say? <laughs> I mean, we witnessed greatness tonight. Please come out and see us tomorrow night with Boogsy, and we'll be playing a set in the afternoon of the San Francisco Carnival at 16th and Harrison uh, at, at 2.40 to 3.40 in the outdoor carnival stage after the parade, if that isn't enough, and then we'll be down at Palookaville Sunday night. Yeah, I don't know. We need a Learjet if anybody can lend us one. And uh, we're going to close the evening with two tunes that were written by Lynn Boogsy Sharp. First one being uh, a tune called Pan Progress. And then the second one is a great tune called This Feeling Nice, which I think explains pretty well, sums the evening up pretty well. So thanks again for coming out. Sign up on our mailing list. We're hoping to have Andy Norell for a Christmas concert. It's kind of like an Andy, what's that guy's name? Andy Griffith, not the guy. Perry Como, Perry Como. We'll have Andy Norell Christmas here, hopefully, if we can work things up. So again, thanks a lot. It's cool to see people in the balcony for, that's great. Thank you. That just reminded me, we need a quick impromptu chorus for Mr. Leroy Bolden's 60th birthday. A quick happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you.
Brooksy Sharp, ladies and gentlemen.